Hi, I'm Denise and today I'm going to show you how we make one of our Christmas pot arrangements. Arrangements can be made in pots, in different types of flowers, whichever you prefer, whichever colour. There's the larger one, single one, there's the smaller roses. You can do it more silvery or you can do it more foliage, it's entirely up to you. We use the wet oasis and we line the pot with it and then we take our glue guns and we just seal it in all around the edges just to make it firm and then we can start making the arrangement. We start off with our foliage. If you pick a type like this where there's quite a few branches we can split the branches and it goes a bit further. Your oasis is soft so we just insert more or less more to the back so that you've not got much to cover once you come to the back. So you want at least one and a half, you can go up to two times the height of your pot and that's what you start with. And then I'm going to split this one and then we're going to place that one slightly in front just to make it look a little bit more fuller. You need a good set of clippers so that it goes through the wire and I'm going to place that one at the side. Next we're going to put the rows and you have your first one higher up. The roses come with the leaves. If you pick a, a rose, a flower or a rose, whichever flower it is, with the leaves on, we can use these leaves later. The second one we do shorter and it needs to come right at the bottom of your pot. Next I've chosen this foliage and I've chosen this one because your berries will blend in with the pink on the flowers. And this again has quite a lot of stems so it can be cut down. The height of this one, you're looking at it to be roughly slightly higher than your rose. And that one's just going to fit in nicely there. We're then going to put one on this side. To balance it out, I need another piece of leaf there. So what I'm going to do is, when you get small pieces and they won't fit, we get the thin wires and when you bend it round and twist it we then use our tape which will stretch twist round and then that evens the arrangement out that way as you can see we've got a small gap there so I'm going to attach a smaller piece inside. With floristry, besides having things at height, you also need some recession. You need things to be in closer as well as on top. To give it a bit of shape, I'm going to bring a couple of these leaves down at the front. And then, you, as you can see, it all flows nicely. So you carry on in the same way and we're just filling in our gaps. These leaves look quite nice at the top as well. They can flow through. So because they're so short, again, we can wire these, twist the wire tight around the bottom of the stem and then we can attach the leaf at the top. Same thing with the one below and that way it's flowing through. And for the back, because you, you want your back to still look quite nice in case you've got it in a window. So we're going to attach the rest and then these pieces 
so that your back blends in. And then with your remaining leaves, what we do is we place them evenly round your gaps so it hides all your workings and we'll use the glue gun to attach all those. That's the main part of your arrangement. If you want to add a bit of elevation, we've got this nice like a palm leaf, you can use something like that. And what we do is we just take a few pieces off and then again with your glue gun, you'll attach them where you want them to go, just evenly spaced out. That's how you make your Christmas pots. If you follow the directions, the instructions from the video, you should hopefully make a really nice arrangement for Christmas for yourself in whichever colour or style you choose to make.